let's talk about agitation. And I'm not talking about the kind of agitation that kicks off in the comment section anytime I do some sort of coffee science video. I admit it, I'm not a scientist, I just play one on YouTube. But instead, we need to talk about agitation in terms of brewing a pour over. Whether it be the classic stir or the modern swirl, there's really no doubt or debate at this point that agitation increases extraction. But a recent article I saw on Barista Hustle changed the way I approach agitation. And that brings me to what they call the wet weiss. Now many baristas, whether they be home or professional, are already pretty familiar with the humble WDT tool, which stands for the Weiss Distribution Technique. It was originally designed specifically for stirring espresso grinds, for breaking up clumps, and producing an even bed and subsequent extraction. And as an avid espresso lover, I think it's a must have, and I use it every single day. And now I even use it on my pour overs. Circling back to the Barista Hustle article, they put the Weiss tool to the test on a flat bottom zero bypass brewer and found a noticeably higher extraction as well as a minimal effect on drawdown time, which can be a concern when brewing filter coffee, as most if not all forms of agitation will sometimes cause a slowing or stalling to varying degrees as the grinds settle and the fines migrate. And when it comes to increasing extraction, this isn't incredibly surprising. But the jump was pretty significant, and when I saw that they haven't tried it on more common dripper styles, I took that as an opportunity to look into this myself. So being armed with that information and a sense of curiosity, I've been stirring my pour overs with the WDT tool over the past few months, and on most occasions I noticed more complexity and sweetness, but I didn't really have any data to back that up, mostly just anecdotes, but now I do. Using the same coffee, a medium roast Guatemalan from Dark Horse, the same batch and grind size, and the same recipe, a three-phase 40-100-100, I ran a handful of tests with both the flat bottom Aurea V3 using Kalita 185 filters and the Hario V60 using the Cafec Abka filters. So to start, let's take a gander at the all-important control results, keeping in mind that all of these numbers are with no agitation, just purely pouring in the planned three-phase recipe. As you can see, the extraction numbers and drawdown times aren't what we would consider bad or excessive by specialty standards, landing within 18 to 19% and still producing what I would consider a solid and tasty cup of coffee. But now let's see what a simple stir or swirl during the bloom can actually do. As you can see, the swirl does increase the extraction by roughly half a percent, coupled with a small jump in brew time on the V60 and Aurea V3. Stirring with a spoon in a controlled back and forth side to side motion further increases extraction on both brewers, but only increases the drawdown time on the V60, while the Aurea V3 stays pretty consistent. Now, the moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for, the wet weiss data. On the Aurea V3, using the WDT tool to stir the bloom, increased an entire percent from the spoon, and nearly 4% from nothing at all. And this trend continues over to the Hario V60, with a 3 plus percent jump from the spoon, and much like the Aurea, a similar 4 plus percent jump from no agitation at all. Like all forms of brewing, there are without a doubt a lot of variables at play here, and I can't and won't say that this is a 100% foolproof way to get more extraction from your coffee, so your results may vary. But in my opinion, based on my findings, both in the cup and in the data, and from what the Barista Hustle folks shared, I have a pretty high level of confidence in the wet weiss, and for what it's worth, it's now my preferred method of agitation when brewing a pour over. And of course, with all that said, I will again reiterate that I'm not a scientist. I'm just a guy brewing coffee on the internet and sharing my findings. So take these results as you will, or don't, whatever. And I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spromethius for content throughout the week, my blog at Spromethius.com, my coffee at LittleGiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.